when W. BNG was WNBF. The TV station went through the process of figuring out the programming viewers connected to the most. Our Alicia Nieves tells us how one woman pioneered the first successful food program for our area. Long before Bobby Flay, Rachel Ray, or even Mr. Food, there was Helen Baldwin. She was a pioneer in the TV cooking industry. Her children say she was known in the community for being a good cook, and a neighbor referred her to WNBF as it embarked on its first cooking program. The big thing, I think, that why she did it was, my dad did say to her, you really think you ought to do this? Bingo. Mom loved a challenge. That it was. Being the first means you have to figure it out all on your own. My mother would work 12, 14 hours a day because she had to go plan the recipes, buy the food, and then cook the food in sections so she could show it on TV and in various pieces. I was excited about it, very excited. Uh, but worried and nervous. Eventually, there were no worries when it came to Helen Baldwin. Stop Looking Cook became a hit and quickly changed from a 15-minute segment to a 30-minute show on air five days a week. She became so popular that uh, she started doing and was asked to do uh, national Swans Down Cake Mix commercials with Chet Huntley, who was on the Huntley Brinkley news for NBC back then. Helen's fame lasted on TV for about five and a half years. She was proud of herself, I'm sure, because she was a pioneer and she did it, she did it well. Helen Baldwin passed away in her 90s, but her legacy lives on in TV food programming and as a part of WBNG-TV history. Alicia Nieves, WBNG-TV, Action News.